Hey Taurus, welcome to your messages from your angels. This is a timeless read, so you can just whenever you click on it, the message is then for you. I'll leave information about what decks of cards I use in the description box, along with how to contact me for personal readings. And as always, I have published all the generals for this month. So let's see. Archangel Raphael. So Taurus, I am helping you heal. Physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So whatever your life path is, you may find that you are a healer. You help other people. Maybe you don't even know you're doing it. You just, people just come up to you and you know, randomly ask for help. People think that, you know, you need to have this big major job or career to be doing something. No, it's not like that. And we have Fiona. Now that you've asked for the angel's help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So on your path here, if you're asking heaven for help, now be open to it. You know, you might spend a lot of time as a healer giving. You need to be open to receive heaven's help as well. Understand that you're worthy and deserving of heaven's help. We'll get some um, romance oracle cards here and we will see what's happening. What the angel message is for Taurus. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So again, may, maybe you need some time out. Maybe you're going through some healing yourself. Don't worry if, you know, um, it's fine to take time out from helping others, right? Because how can you help anybody if, you know, you're not 100% yourself? So remember always to take a time out. You could be feeling um, disconnected. You could be feeling like not your usual self and that's okay. That will come back soon. True love here. This is a romance of a lifetime. So if you was, had any questions about romance, you know, is this person the one? Will I meet the one? Yes, you will have this true love. Yes, you will. Yes, this is the one. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So they can seem quite contradicting here, um, but maybe it's time for you to have that love and happiness. You know, maybe you've spent most of your life taking care of children, um, taking care of others or family members or friends. And it's time for you to disconnect from that. Even if it's, you know, you may feel like, well, it's my divine work. You know, I have to be giving in this way. I'm trying to make a family and a home and everything nice for everybody else here. But... You know, it's time. This is a romance of a lifetime. It's time for you to focus on your love here, what you deserve. So we'll get the tarot cards now. And the first cards was the messages from your angels, the romance oracle deck. And this is the Botticelli tarot deck. I will leave that information in the description box as well here. Okay, so there we go. The lovers. So right now, your messages from your angels is there's very important healing going on, whether this is physical, whether this is mental, whether this is healing a relationship, healing yourself after a relationship. Um, this, the lover's card is about healing and about a connection. Um, like I said, you may even feel like, you know, you disconnected from yourself at times. And that's okay. This this will heal. Your physical ailments will heal. This love connection will heal here with the lovers. So I do feel like it's um, a very important message about love for you. Six of Wands and the lovers is the card six as well. So it is also related to the lovers. And here it, the Six of Wands is about being successful 
ascending, overcoming challenges here because you can see uh, over the six wands. So I feel like, you know, you will successfully heal and overcome these challenges that you face um, regarding love or, um, you know, healing here. You will heal. You will overcome this. You will be successful. I feel like... Um, a romantic partner, a soulmate, maybe now taking interest in you. So a soulmate could be now coming towards you here. And you're being told, go ahead, flirt, extend your light-hearted energy. Um, you know, we understand that Tauruses are about, you know, being homely, making a nice home for people. Um, with that being in the fifth house. But also... Be open to receiving love, okay? We also know that you're fun. You know, you want to make other people laugh and smile. So it's okay to accept that for yourself as well, you know. Um, with this retreat card here, I feel like, you know, um, it's okay to let other people take control for a little bit and look after you and support you. Make sure you're okay, and I feel like somebody's coming towards you to um, maybe so you don't have to do all the work all the time. The strength, yeah. I know you guys are strong here. And it's about taming that inner beast when you want to, um, you know, maybe even if you're with somebody who's driving you crazy and you want to, shout and you know whatever it's about taming that inner beast and finding that what's your unique strength here okay so if your unique strength is um being the strong one in the relationship i feel like somebody's coming um who allows you to be um weak in their arms Allows you to go out and fight your day, but then come home and be in their arms and be safe. You know, a true love there. So it's okay. It Maybe that you've just met this person and you're just flirting with them. And that's okay. It's telling you, you know, this will successfully build into something strong here. A true love. A love of a lifetime. Temperance. Okay, so <clears throat> here it shows... You know, we gain this sort of divine love by having balance, by, you know, allowing ourselves to be weak as well as strong, to receive love as well as give love. So I feel like you've probably been finding, um, you've probably been on a divine lesson where, you know, you've had to learn to stop giving so much you know, and learn to be weak even when you don't want to hear a lot of major arcana. So it's a very important lesson that you've learned and you've had to be strong through all of it. But it shows healing and overcoming a situation and you having the strength to overcome a situation and learn something that will make you stronger from this situation. seven of swords so maybe somebody lied and cheated and deceived you here um, again the seven of swords could be about having low self-esteem we see two people stood to the side and one person stood on the other side so maybe you felt like you know you had to do this all alone people could have even been talking and gossiping about you that made you feel bad about yourself um, but you're overcoming this okay I see like all the swords here halfway in the ground there so it's like you're you've already started this journey you're already like in too deep to turn back so it's not like you won't heal or you won't overcome this you're already in deep in this rebuilding your self-esteem rebuilding the way you think about the world about yourself and about romance about love so it's challenges in maybe how you thought love should be what you thought um that if you know people are telling you you know i love you and words <laughs> words can be um anybody can say them right 
So maybe you felt like, you know, love was a certain way and it it turns out it's a different way or you turn, somebody deceived you in some way and you've had to have the strength to overcome this lesson and find balance here. Eight of Swords and the Death card. So going through this death of the ego or even you felt stuck in this situation a long time and there was a lot of um a lot of time spent in your mind so a lot of time you've spent thinking um maybe even negative thoughts about yourself with that seven of swords um but here it shows you feeling stuck for a long time going through this death and this situation this ending um may have felt like you'd never get up from this you may think about this over and over and over and over again. What happened? How it happened? Could I have saved um, whatever it is? For some of you, it would be that, um, you know, your soulmate has passed on. Um, which, you know, left you f thinking about them constantly. You know, um, my true love may have died. So I'll never find somebody else again. Or I never want to find somebody else again. So what do I do now? So you could have retreated from the world at this time after this deception or after maybe these negative thoughts, you may have just gone inside yourself here. And maybe that's why you didn't recognize yourself and had to begin this path of healing, which, ta which has taken a lot of strength here. Um, but like I said, it shows um, that you've overcome this. And we see with temperance, you know, if this person is in heaven, they love you just the same as they do on earth. That's what that's saying there. They want you to be happy. They want you to feel love again and find happiness again. If your person is still with us, um, I feel like you're heavily on their mind here. You know, doesn't matter how long ago it ended, I feel like you're heavily on their mind. And I think um, you are deceiving yourself thinking that they just forgot about you or that you could just forget about them. It's been much more difficult than just forgetting. Two of Pentacles, yeah. Again, an indication of feeling stuck. Um, but it shows a decision was made here. Um, a judgment was made, whether right or wrong. There could have been three people involved here because we see the Two of Pentacles um, with three people in the card. Um, but one of them's blowing like the judgment horn here. So it was like a decision was made. A decision out of your hands here. So I don't want you to dwell on it. Because the two of pentacles with the eight of swords, it's like um, you could be feeling stuck and unable to move forward. But we know um, with the eight of swords, um, it's like your mind. So if somebody took you into a prison, a jail cell and closed the gate, and you know told you okay you're locked in now and you tried everything to get out of there but you just couldn't get out right because it's a jail you're locked in but then one day the gate just opens and the gate was never locked it's just your mind telling you you're locked in so you never tried to open it you could have tried to get out multiple ways um and we see this in life, you may feel like so many doors are closed to you and it's like a trick of the mind there that's deceiving ourselves with the seven of swords. It's like you've decided um, that there's no way forward or you're stuck, but there is a way out here. It can be fixed, it can be healed. First, we start with our thoughts, we think positive right? This is how we manifest things in our life. So healing your thoughts, um, you know, 
I feel like because you could know you're a strong person and you could try and even beat down the walls of the jail. But, you know, if you're going to keep beating concrete, obviously you're going to eventually feel more hurt and feel like you're getting nowhere, even if the brick starts to come away. But maybe just try the door. Ace of Cups. And there we are. It's like the love that you thought you could never have would never be offered, that's un unattainable. It's like just behind that door and you've got to use the Two of Pentacles to decide, I've got to go for this. I've got to go for this. There's no way I can just sit in this cell, in this Eight of Swords prison, overthinking, thinking there's no way out, there's no way forward, there's no way back. There is a way. Try a new direction. That's the message from your angels here. You can be successful. You can have this love. Try a new direction here. If you've tried something over and over and it hasn't worked, how can we keep expecting the same result if we're doing the same actions? Try new actions. See if that door opens to you. Five of Swords. So you feel... I, th I think it's definitely like feeling like you're in a lose-lose situation. Mercury is in retrograde while I'm recording this. It actually goes retrograde in all the watery seasons in 2020. So it could like um, be making you trying to use your head too much rather than your heart or your heart too much rather than your head. And we see with temperance um, this call for balance a balance between your head and your heart because our heart can only take us so far and our head can only take us so far before we end up becoming, if we're using our head, for example, narrow-minded, thinking that, okay, they told me the gate's locked, so it's never going to open. Have faith that communication may be bad, that things may seem like they can't be fixed, but what you seek is right in front of you. 